Hi, I'm Heather Ryan and I am the Chief Executive Officer of Federated Cooperatives Limited and I'm also a very proud CPHR. For me, the priorities were always about the people. It's very important. I've been drawn to the human connection and everything that I've done um, and it's just culminated into how I hope to carry out this role that I'm in currently. I think because of the journey we've been on at Co-op in terms of bring your whole self to work, in terms of the competencies that you bring and making sure that that leadership is front and center, that I can be who I am. And I've used the term of you're not filling someone else's shoes when you come into the role because you can never fill someone else's shoes, but you can wear your own shoes. Wear them proudly and do the best job that you can. So I've come into this with that attitude and with that outlook, but it's really been how we've moved things forward at FCL in terms of those journeys that have allowed me to feel I can do that and do it with pride. You know, the CPHR designation really validates the work that's done in human resources in terms of all of those important concepts and things that you do and how you enable the business. So it really validates, it doesn't matter what leadership role you're in, HR is at the forefront and at the table because it's building that strategy together because without people, you're not gonna deliver on that strategy. At FCL, the name of our human resource, our traditional human resource business unit, is now People and Culture. And I think that speaks volumes in terms of human resources looking at people as a resource, our most important resource, but we've evolved to people and culture. And that group is not alone in carrying out the talent management, in carrying out development of, of leaders, but they help facilitate how we do that through the organization and through co-op because they provide programs and services across Western Canada and work with local co-ops as well. You know, I, I saw a quote that said, lead with strength, humility and gratitude. And, and that really resonates with me because you do have to be strong and get things done and, and results driven, but we have to be so grateful for who we work with, what we're doing, and then making sure that we're, we're humble in what we do. We can't do anything alone. And so having that humility to understand what we can and can't do, what we need from others, what others need from us, we work hard, but we're also very grateful for what we do and what we accomplish out of that hard work.